Cody, this is Eric and Everardo. We promised you a quick video of uh, what we're proposing at the block at Orange for the wood siding. As you can see on the left, this is real wood that we have had for a quick test that we did in one of the fixtures. But you can see that real wood is very delicate. It scratches. You can see that right there. So uh, we want to try to minimize the, you know, the, the cost associated with maintenance, repair, um, and the durability of it and whatnot. So we're testing another alternate system known as Innovative Architectural Solutions and they're a local vendor here in LA and it's basically a vinyl-ish type of film that's exterior and UV rated and it's applied to an aluminum sheet and then formed onto what you're seeing here which kind of mimics the look of a plank. So um, they're going to come in seven foot lengths and they believe they're six inch in, uh, in width. So it's gonna mimic a standard plank. They're gonna come already laminated like this as it's shown. It's just basically a double stick tape. And what you're seeing here is the grid system that it's mounted to. And basically you start at the bottom and you just start adding on top of each other and screwing in together as uh, it's assembled. So basically you see how it's kind of not a tongue and groove system, but it's got some sort of tabs and they just lock into place as follows. Why don't you go ahead and pull that up again, Eduardo? And basically, once it's secured, or once it's lowered into place, it's then secured with fasteners, mechanical fasteners and, and whatnot. So the only thing you really have to focus on is the substrate that's beneath it, which in this case would be the marine grade uh, plywood. And then it's obviously waterproofed and whatnot, and then this would just be mounted directly over it using hat channels instead of this T-bar or whatever they want to call this, and uh, uh, mounted directly on both on the walls and on the ceiling. It's pretty robust stuff. It's durable. It's got texture. Um, it's water resistant. It's UV resistant, and it's Class A rated. And it could be drilled through so that when you want to install the, your recessed can lights your sprinkler heads and whatnot, and it's all uh, built here in the US. So it's, um, it's being used quite um, heavily at LAX apparently from what the vendor told us. So, um, you know, we can actually go out there and see it and, and uh, document further if you need it. But I think for now, uh, this will be pretty good information for you to just kind of see how it works, comes together, and what the system is. So we'll go ahead and send you this today. And if you have any questions or if you want to go over it, Feel free to call me um, anytime tomorrow and uh, we'll get started on doing some quick details. All right, man. Thanks. Talk to you.